Solve inequality with common factors on both sides. I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you learning experience. This question here is x minus 1 times x plus 3 greater than x plus 3 times 5 minus x. How are you going to solve this? Well, I'll show you two different ways of solving. So let me just divide this into that portion. Okay. Now when I say two different ways, I'm actually showing you a wrong way of doing things and the correct way of doing things. So that is my two different ways. I'm not showing you really, in this particular case, two different solutions, right? First, let me show you the wrong way of doing things. So let me copy this question. It says x minus 1 times x plus 3 greater than x plus 3 times 5 minus x. Now I've seen many times that in a hurry what someone may do is well these are common factors they just cancel this out right and once they cancel this out you get x minus 1 is greater than 5 minus x and now you can bring x together so you get x plus x greater than 5 plus 1 so you get 2x greater than 6 or x is greater than 3 as your solution as you've seen well some may feel this is right but I'm saying that this is the wrong way of doing and that is a wrong solution now think about it why is this a wrong solution okay so think about it and let me share with you efficient way of solving the same question okay so let's redo it so we'll start with this question which is x minus 1 times x plus 3 greater than x plus 3 times 5 minus x now two ways to do this could be you just expand both sides bring the terms together simplify so that's the first way which I'm leaving for you to try the second way I call it more efficient way of doing things right so let me show you the efficient way of doing things so what I will do here is I'll bring these terms to the left and show you how to do it efficiently we have x minus 1 times x plus 3 minus x plus 3 times 5 minus x greater than 0 got it now we have a common factor so let's take factorize so we get x plus 3 as a common factor so you get, let me put square brackets, x minus 1, let me write this as 1 first factor, minus x plus 3 is taken common, so it's minus 5 minus x. Okay, greater than 0. Now, we have x plus 3. Now, you can simplify this. x minus minus x will give you 2x, right? 2x minus 1 minus 5 gives you minus 6 greater than 0 so that's what you get right now well you can still take two common and then solve it anyway now I'll show you how to write solution from here now what we can do here is we can take the test points we know one thing very clearly that when you multiply these two you're getting a quadratic equation and a parabola this parabola opens upwards right so and it has two zeros right so let me just draw a parabola here it opens upwards and it has two zeros one is at minus three this one right minus three the other one is at plus three right two x minus six is zero at three 3 times 2 is 6, 6 minus 6 is 0, right? 0 times anything is 0. So the other one is at plus 3. Since we are looking for greater than 0, the solution set should be, should be what? This set, right? This set and this set, correct? So that is the solution set. Not just x greater than 3. That's just a part of solution x less than minus 3 is also a part of this solution. Do you see that part? 
okay so that is how you can solve it very efficiently well now for some students who know interval method these zeros divide the plane into three intervals let me use interval method also here so these are the three intervals okay now in these intervals this interval is from minus infinity to minus three correct and here we have from minus three to plus three and then we have from three to infinity plus infinity correct we can always take test points on these intervals and test out our result so test point here could be minus 5 0 could be a test point here and let us say 5 is a test point here so if you plug in minus 5 what do you get so for the first term first term we are multiplying these two terms right so what we can do here is just plug in minus 5 and try to get the result so we can see what do we get for x plus 3 this is the first term the second term is 2x minus 6 we could have factored 2 and written this as x minus 3 also that's not a bad idea you should do it okay so let's test our factors so if I put minus 5 minus 5 plus 3 is negative if I put 0 here I get positive if I put 5 here I get positive correct for the second term minus 5 will give me 10 minus 6 which is positive right sorry minus 5 will minus 10 minus 6 so negative but when I write 0 here so again I get 0 minus 6 which is again negative and plus 2 will give me positive right so what when you multiply these two two negatives gives you positive is it okay this gives you negative which you can see from here the negative half and two positives when multiplied gives you positive so that also gives you the result correct so the solution here is let me write down the solution so either way you can approach and get the solution important thing is that the solution is not just x is greater than 3 the solution is x is less than minus 3 union or n x is greater than 3 right so we have two sets of solutions for this question now it's important to note if you cancel it off then you miss one of the solutions that factor is one of your solution right or leading to a solution so whenever you're doing inequalities even in equations you should not cancel out these common factors if this was an equation you know we missed a zero at minus three so never cancel common factors but take advantage of factoring when you have common factors to get an efficient way of doing things by avoiding multiplication right so these are few things which we learned from this particular example I'm Anil Kumar and I hope these tips help you thank you and all the best